Welcome to Alcatraz. I'm gonna break one of the most important rules. Actually, the only rule. I am gonna talk about it. Look at this prison. Look at how many people we have. We're gonna start a fight club. And I know, I know, we're not supposed to talk about Fight Club, but I'm gonna talk a lot about Fight Club. Do not talk about Fight Club. I'm gonna do it up until Brad Pitt comes through my door and slaps me in the face with a raw fish and says, Baron, stop talking about Fight Club. But the reason I'm doing that is because Paradox is paying me to tell you about Fight Club. Do not this is the new Gangs DLC in Prison Architect. You can see we have a veritable island fortress. And uh, things are gonna get weird. Really, really weird. And I'm really excited for it. So, when you go to the rooms, you're gonna see that we have three new rooms. The cage, an outdoor unit that a single prisoner can use for exercise, keeping them isolated from other prisoners. So it's like solitary confinement for getting your gains. Or maybe they got like a Super Nintendo out there and they just don't want anybody to know about it. We also have a tattoo removal room because since there's so many gangs, how better to identify yourself than with tattoos? So, you wanna switch gangs, you might need to do that. And then we have the fight club room. Now it needs to be a minimum of five by five. And we need to proceed with construction. Now we, we have all kinds of issues in the prison people are trying to dig out, that's fine. I'm the warden here and I'm really not interested in keeping people inside. In fact, I was a former gang member myself. We were known as the wheat berries. Yeah, we were pretty fierce. Our prisoners are missing their families. Hmm, what better way to get that frustration out than to fight? Oh god. See, this is why we need a fight club. Now while that's going on, we will want to make some special little areas for the cage. An outdoor unit that a single keeping them isolated. Ah, so this is for solitary confinement. Now we have solitary confinement over here. Yeah, th this area looked like it, it broke at one point. Subsistence rat damage. Oh, okay. Rats, great. The cage needs to be enclosed and secure behind at least one door. So we don't exactly know how big it is. I'm gonna create two of them. The cage, I love it. So construction on the Fight Club room is going. Alcatraz is absolutely nuts. Trying to run this prison, well, let's just say people like the chief ain't happy about it. Look at these guys, they're dedicated. They're working even at nighttime. So what we need is some exercise equipment in it. So we'll get some weight benches. And look at this, in the gangs, we've got a lot of new equipment here. Fight ring, tattoo removal machine, metal stool, pull-up bars. So we could have some pull-up bars for them and a knee raise ma machine. Gotta get swole. So there we go. Even if you're in solitary confinement from being in a gang and fighting in Fight Club and all that kind of stuff and you get in trouble, you can still get buff. And that's what we like. I think our people need some pull-up bars outside. There's not a whole lot to do out here. I must have dismantled all the workout equipment. Are you, is anyone using the pull-up machines? We, we got these new pull-up machines. These guys want drugs. These ones want hydration. Drugs and hydration. Uh, okay. He served 1.7 years. Pickpocketing for three years. Well, you shouldn't have done that if you got a wife, a son, a mother, and a father. I mean, I guess to be born, you have to have a mother and a father, right? Estimated reoffending chance, 24%. That's not bad. Look at that. Okay. So we have gangs turned up to high. Now there's three different gangs that can appear in the new expansion here. So I thought about it. We could put the Fight Club way out here or maybe relocate it to something a little bit more central. When I look at this map, I kind of immediately zone in to these two areas. We've even got chairs already. Or we could use this area over here. A lot of possibilities. Honestly, it just needs to be a five by five and look at that. Perfect. Now we need a fight ring. <laughs> Look at this. Who wants to enter the fight club? Rule number one, don't talk about it. Unless, of course, you're making a YouTube video like me, and then it's okay. Brad Pitt, please don't hurt me. Wait, was it Brad Pitt or was it Edward Norton anyway? Which one would come and slap me with a raw fish? Feed all prisoners. We have a real problem with that. Wait a minute. Is the fight ring supposed to have, like, the Egyptian hieroglyphic on it? Did, did we just create the Illuminati? The levels of contraband in the prison are out of control. Good. Maybe someone's gonna bring something like a chainsaw to Fight Club. Oh look, one death today. Yeah. 
things are going <clears throat> swimmingly. But one of the things we might also want to do is expand over into this area. You know, right near the oh. dead off uh, dead guards. <laughs> Now, one of the most important things that happened is a free update allowing you to add four new dogs. We got the Doberman, the Chocolate Labrador, the Black German Shepherd, and the Beagle. And the Black German Shepherd just sounds awesome. I want those. We're going to turn on the Mutator Gang Warfare so only gang members are going to arrive to our prison. And let's get better guards. Let's start Fight Club. We got 16 people interested already. Beautiful. All right, we got to find a time for Fight Club. Let's do... Let's get rid of work. Minimum security can join Fight Club. Maybe the issue is that we've put the fighting ring in the wrong area. Because this is where it all goes down. Look at this. Dunmire's already training for Fight Club. Do your pull-ups. Get ripped. Oh, we got him fighting. We got Shepcar and Robinson. What are you boys doing? Now, I believe they'll only use Fight Club during free time. So the next one is about 9 p.m. So in a little over an hour. All right, boys, it's free time. Look at this. Malone is waiting for his competitor. He's got his dukes up and he's wearing sunglasses, which I do not recommend in a boxing match. You know, one thing we probably need to do is remove all of these tunnels. Like, look at how crazy this one tunnel is. I, I think someone actually like almost got out. <laughs> Needless to say, they don't like being locked in prison. They're willing to literally dig through their toilet to escape. Can't say I blame them. I wonder if I would too. All right. Tunnels are being removed. I'm down to $12 because the CEO hates me because I'm actually trying to feed my people. I would like more money, please, because we are in the red. What is this? Oh, someone tunneled out over here? And here I am just trying to be a warden starting a fight club and... We got very, very slick guys. So I just took a grant to reform gang members. Now everybody's sleeping. Well, except for this guy. His bowels hurt. Well, use your toilet. Are people, people are still digging through them. Look at this. Pardo's trying to use the cage. Oh, this, this is where it's all happening. I found the issue. We need to make free time work. That way fight club can be scheduled. Led by a gym instructor in a fight club room. And it lasts three hours. Every six f prisoners require a fighting ring. We just, we just don't have enough. I wonder how we get even more fight club rooms. Like, should we make a whole fight clubbing wing? Rest in peace, guard Patrick. So Morris is here at fight club. Pratt's here at Fight Club. Mendez, you joining in? Oh, Mendez scared. Mendez don't want none. Like, look at this. This janitor's here is wiping up blood. This man's fighting for booze, and this man's fighting for family. Dominic Torello would be really proud of him fighting for family. Here we go. We got up for 8 to 11 a.m. is session one, and then 4 to 7 p.m. is session two. Hey, Mendez came back. Mendez came back to fight. I'm so proud of you, Mendez. Who wants to not talk about Fight Club? It's 4 p.m. Get in here. Hey, look at this. We got a guy teaching it. My gym instructor. He's got a red headband on. Hoover's got some nice ones and twos. This is getting the aggression of our inmates out so that they're less likely to, you know, cause violence. So I feel like we, we finally have that done. We got our Fight Club room done, but we don't have a tattoo removal room. It needs a three by four. But I got negative $20,000, pretty much. Dear taxpayers, will you give me all of your money? Well, now I have negative 68,000. I need whatever, ooh, I need that. That gives me 30. All right, we got the money before the CEO calls and takes it away from us because I won't give my people crappy food or something stupid. We need a tattoo removal room. Now, we sort of have room pretty much nowhere. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to just put it here. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. It needs to be indoors, though. There are any cells that are unoccupied? Look at this. Hey, since you've decided not to implement the new food policies, I'm docking you 5,000 bucks. Very rude. But man, 
Fight Club is kicking it. This is not exactly Brad Pitt, but it's like Alcatraz Brad Pitt. But anyway, this is just some of the new things. There's so much more depth to the gangs than we've even touched on. And I want to get into more of it. But if you guys want to check out more Prison Architect gangs for yourself, you can use the link in the description below. Thanks again to Paradox for sponsoring this video. And let me know if you guys do want to see some more Prison Architect.